The Institute is dedicated to building the manufacturing workforce of today and inspiring the manufacturing workforce of tomorrow. And we're doing everything we can to support the women already in manufacturing. Sitting among us tonight are 130 amazing women. These honorees and emerging leaders have done incredible things in manufacturing. They represent the best and the brightest of our industry. And through this gala, we have not only had an opportunity to recognize all that they have done, we have the opportunity to amplify their stories. The word that comes to mind um, as a step ahead honoree is, it, I'm humble, I am grateful. Well, at the age of 80, I still go to work every day and I really want to. And the best part of my job is the people. I was shocked with the nomination and I said, why this old lady? He says, because you've got a life history of having done all these things for everybody, for manufacturing, for education, and we want to honor you for that. There's people that paved the way for me. So it's my obligation to pave the way for others and to reach back. It's almost like paying it forward. You represent true commitment and dedication to advancing the discussion on women in manufacturing, to making sure we're building strong leaders, developing talent, focusing on growth and innovation. Because as mothers, grandmothers, mentors, leaders, creators, inventors, we are the solution. We can fix this because, let's face it, a woman can fix anything, right? You know, first thing you think, am I really worthy? And, and I, I think that sometimes we don't sit back and understand the impact we have. And so this was a confirmation of the impact of just doing the things that I love to do. It's very, very simple for me. Just get great women and let them get on and do stuff. And the men as well do stuff that make a difference. Don't count anything out. If you're interested in something, don't let someone tell you that you can't do it. So I think it's important for all of us to be working in women in manufacturing. It's about high-end technology and advancing how products are made and how we can change the world. Manufacturing in America will simply not be as strong as, as it can be until it better represents the women of America. Never underestimate the power of your example and your visibility. There's nothing that's going to keep us back, so we have to be uh, making sure we get a great education, making sure that we do the things in the right way and follow our dreams and all things are possible. Half the population in the U.S. workforce are women. Every one of them has the ability to do something game-changing. And I want our next generation, every future generation, our current generation of women to be able to, to find what that is, to find not the place that they've been told, but find their place and be able to make great things happen.